beautiful welcome back to my channel for today's video I am going to test another foundation and this time it is the Maybelline matte and poreless foundation now I cannot believe that it has taken me a long long time to try this foundation and I've definitely heard quite a few reviews online about this foundation and then I went on the website and I'm not entirely sure how many shades it offers. I will um, put like a note down in the description or somewhere on the screen. But in New Zealand, I believe they only offer like six shades. And I got the darkest one, which is the 310 Sun Beige. And the foundation description is said to work on normal to oily skin and then it mattifies and refines pores leaving a natural seamless finish so the benefits of this foundation is ideally for normal to oily skin with its exclusive formula that includes micro powders which helps controls shine and blurs pores and this is a dermatologist tested and non comedogenic so like the wet and wild foundation that i reviewed before i will do like a natural lighting and flash test with this foundation obviously this does not have any spf so for sure it won't have any flashback so for the sake of this video i i've already done my eye makeup except for my brows and then to prime my face I am going to use the Dr. Brand Post Normal Pore Refiner and this one is such a good primer on filling in my pores and I've used this on my Wet n Wild foundation too and on a normal basis I usually wear any type of pore minimizing primer so I hope this one works with the foundation. To apply the foundation, I'm just going to use my beauty sponge because this is what I use to apply all my foundations. And the packaging comes in a glass bottle and then it has that lid and it comes with no pump which is quite sad but oh well. So we're just going to give it a good shake. And then I will take a few dots. This kind of foundation is quite messy because it doesn't have a pump but if it works out well I could always just use my makeup palette. And the shade is obviously too light for me because I'm medium to tan skin at the moment so any foundation from the drugstore that they offer in New Zealand is not an ultimate match for my skin tone because they just run quite light. So that's a really thin layer of foundation and my skin is still showing and it doesn't give like a full coverage right off the bat. So I would say this is like a light to medium coverage for now. As you can see, my skin is still peeking through. And that's just one very light layer of foundation. And please ignore if the foundation is too light because that's the darker shade that we have in New Zealand and it's running a bit pink so I might have to use my banana powder to kind of neutralize the color as well as I don't really want to use my found my powder with coverage because I want to see what this looks like so I'm going in with another layer It's definitely blending 
very well and it feels very very lightweight so on the second layer it definitely covered all the dark spots that I have so that's two layers done and it doesn't seem to oxidize and it's definitely way too light on my skin so that's two layers done on my face and I think I'm going to go with one more layer just on the areas where I wanted to cover so mainly on the cheek area The foundation is definitely building up quite well and it's blending very seamlessly except for the fact that it's quite lighter than my skin tone so just ignore that. And the finish I'd say is um, demi matte because it definitely has a little bit of sheen to it and the texture is quite strange because on my finger it kind of dried a little bit powdery so maybe that's like the micro powder thingy that um, controls the shine but it definitely filled in my pores around this area because usually I would have like it's craters craters in there and as you heard my computer talks and it's currently 11 o'clock so I will definitely just go with my concealer, powder, and then I'll be right back to see how it looks after the powder. And I've just powdered my face and I tried as much as I could but the foundation is just way 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 too light on my skin tone. So I'm just gonna bronze it up with my MAC Dark Deepest Mineralized Skin Finish to see if I could fix it. But it's definitely looking so pink. Which is not something that I would like. This is so frustrating, like the color match is definitely not in there. But anyway, to blush, I'm just gonna go with my e.l.f. Highlight is Wet n Wild. I'll have a Cosmo. So this is what the foundation looks like and I'm not surprised at all because Maybelline has got some of the um, great foundations except for the color match clearly but everything went on smoothly, everything went on top of the foundation very smoothly and I took a photo with natural lighting and with flash. Obviously the one with flash will look a little bit ghostly as I said because of the color match but it definitely did not have the extreme flashback. So it's currently 11.16 So I'm going to wear this foundation throughout my day and I'll be going to work in a few hours so I will check back with you guys before I go to work and maybe after my work Hi beautiful, I'm back for a check-in and right now it's 2.09 in the afternoon so it's been about 3 hours since I last applied the foundation and I could tell you that the foundation is 
sort of matching my skin tone. And since it's quite warm in this room, I definitely had some oils peeking through around this forehead area and also in my cheek area and the chin area. I, I will kind of just tap it with my fingers. I'm kind of sad because the foundation says it's matte and poreless so I can definitely tell that my pores are quite small on this area here but from here out my pores is definitely quite visible. I'm not sure if it's the powder that I use or it's the foundation or the primer but from afar or from looking at it in the viewfinder I definitely look quite flawless and put together so we'll see how this foundation holds up because I'm about to head out to work so I will check back with you guys in about five hours hello beautiful I'm back and the time is 7.01 p.m. and I could definitely say that I look really 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 oily so around this area this here and here and the foundation looks strange it definitely oxidized so that's from two o'clock so I had about five hours in between and I basically just did office work today other than that it's not too bad it's just that my pores around this area are starting to peek through which is strange because that um, pore minimizer um, primer that I use usually does not do this but I'm going to blot the excess And apply a translucent powder just my usual essence all about matte and that's looking better a lot better coverage wise nothing wore out which is I like nothing nothing was smudge or nothing melted and my blush and bronzer is still visible which is good my highlighter is still visible everything is still visible except for the fact that I went really really oily so I would probably rate this foundation a 7 out of 10 mainly because of the shade the color range in New Zealand at least it's just not working at all because we only get about what like six shades and this is the darkest and it was definitely three shades darker than my skin tone but I mean on top of everything else it looks great it looks quite flawless from afar but you could definitely tell that my pores are starting to come out in terms of like it being heavy or full on it doesn't feel like that it still feels light except for that when you get oily then that's that but yeah I think this foundation is great for everyday and I will definitely use this again I will just have to mix a darker shade for it to match my skin tone other than that it worked out okay in my opinion um, let me know down below if you've tried this foundation and how it worked on your oily skin and thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and I will see you on my next video bye